welcoming you on the mat today for a quick and effective workout for our core, our belly button area, very important for maintaining the balance and holding strong yoga poses. So let's get started, feet facing forward. We'll start with easy abs crunches. You can bring your hands behind your ears. We'll do three variations, so make your choice. Slowly exhale, inhale. Remember to keep the chest open as you come up, not straining the neck. Every time exhaling up, inhaling back down. If you wish to go further, try to rise up, breathe, and come up towards your knees. Don't let your feet move. Let's all work together on 10 reps. And if you wish to make it even harder, you can come up with your arms, extending up and down. Breathing, exhaling, lengthening, inhaling, releasing back. So we double this up. So if you've made your choice, let's do the next 10 reps together. Coming up and back. Lift and down or you can mix it up like i did remember to keep your count breathe if you're with me here down here coming up and exhale or just the last three breathe keep the core engaged and release. Give yourself a hug, rolling front and back. And release it out. Extending your arms to either ankle. Starting to work with your obliques. In and out. Inhaling center. Exhale. Reach. You can reach for your ankles, reach for the front of your foot. Breathe. Lengthen. Once again, to try to add more to it, you can lift the arm, round it to the side, and the opposite side. Inhaling, exhaling. So you add a lateral stretch. Breathing in and out. And pause. Inhale, reset yourself. And start to do obliques side to side. Remember to keep the palm together, the fingertips all glued together. Inhale, exhale, release. Three and two. If it feels too much for your neck, just keep the neck down. Or take the easy variation, just reaching for your ankles and hug in. And this time, let's roll side to side, releasing the back. And slowly come up, rising up. Let's prepare for Russian twist. Option to keep the toes pointing down or fall for down or lift it up. Breathe and start to tap, moving with the breath side to side. Inhaling center. Exhaling, tap it down. Once again, to add more to it, lift the hands, extend up, exhale. Five on either side. And three. And two. Anytime that you get tired, option to put the feet down. And one. And pause. And let's repeat this together. Adjust your back, come to sit up tall, and then lift up, breathe, and go. Inhaling, exhaling, always remembering to breathe and twisting the side to side. Try to tap either side of the mat. You should be halfway by now. Five, and four, and three. Maybe 
you want to rest your legs and two and one and release it out stretch it out inhaling exhaling breathe and lengthen back down this time coming to lie down on your back and slowly let's start with leg drops option to keep the right knee bent or extending it out and just alternating you can keep the hands to your the side or keep them extended forward moving with the breath once again inhaling exhaling keeping them on the side adds more challenge breathing up and down Once again, if your neck starts to feel strained, just release it back down. Keep the chin slightly tucked in. And pause. Again, maybe this time you want to lift the neck. Bring the chin in between your knees. And slowly with control, release the hands. Extend the legs back out. And let's go. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale, switch. 10 reps. Breathe up and down. Maybe you can tap the foot, the heel of the foot down if that helps you. But remember to use your core, not the momentum to come back up. Inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one and hugging this time hugging around your thighs and rolling front and back as we start to prepare for double leg drops inhale exhale extend it out you can come on your forearms and let's start with double leg drops breathe inhale exhale if this strains your back just come down and just work on neck drops till wherever you can reach comfortably so your lower back doesn't lift off the mat. So let's go. Toes are pointed towards you. Five, four, three, and two, and one. And hug it in. This was definitely a tough, tough one. And drop the knees side to side. And let's come back up again. Once again, if you want to go with the other option, just stay down. Palms extended out forward. Inhaling. lift and drop if it helps you tap the feet down in the middle otherwise keep them hovering as you move up and down with the breath remember to engage the core so your low back keeps pressing down on the mat breathe three and two and one and release it out and rise Let's just pause, release down forward to release the lower back down, stretching it out, inhaling slowly, come back up and let's go side to side. Coming back on your forearms, let's start to extend to one side and then the other. Inhale, exhale, keep going, toes are pointed. Try to keep the feet together. Breathe. Come in and out. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. And release. This time let's stretch out forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Release down. And roll up. One little bit at a time. Let's repeat the set. 
coming down on your forearms and going side to side. Inhale, exhale. Once again, if you're starting to get tired, just tap down in the middle, lift up and down and to the other side. Breathe in and out. Sending the breath out from your belly button through your toes. Three and two and one and stretch it out. Rise up. Exhaling, folding forward. Slowly let the breath travel back up through your legs to your hips, up into your chest, your shoulders, and let's open up. Let's come back up once again, seated, and we're going to roll down and prepare for bicycle twist. A couple of options here once again. You can keep the knees bent from side to side. As you exhale, crunch knee to opposite elbow, taking the elbow all the way outside the knee. That's when you'll engage the core. Or you can extend the legs out straight. Breathe. Inhaling, exhaling as you crunch, release it back down to the other side. Three and two and one. Exhale it out again. Maybe gentle rolls either side, releasing the lower back before we prepare for the next set. Repeating bicycle crunches, shoulders lifted, elbows out and extending side to side. Once again, if you want to deepen it, go with straighter legs. And another option is also to add extended arms. Breathe, five, exhale, four, inhale back, exhale, three, and back, and last one. And again, do what feels good. Maybe you want to take full back extensions, stretching the back out fully, rocking forward, inhaling, exhaling. Come up to sit. Once again, let's stretch it out in the front. Reach, reach, reach. Surrendering to the earth. Recentering the breath in your core. And slowly bringing it all back in and come up. You're not done as yet. You will do some side planks. Option to come down on your forearms just to end the practice or stay steady on one hand. Again, we'll give variations here. You can keep the right knee down, extending the left leg out. Or if you want to be in the full side plank, Vashisasana, be so. Keep lifting the inner waist, stacking the feet, lift the top leg up. Breathe, hold. If you're down with your forearms, you can be as such. Just use these moments to prepare yourself. And hold steady. Option to start to add crunches. Top leg, top arm. Breathe. in. Exhaling. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release it out. Release the knees down. Stretch it back out before we take it to the other side. Extended child's pose. And let's take it over to the opposite side. Take your pick. Stretch it out, reach up and crunch it. Inhale, exhale. Breathe and lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
and once again come down let's stretch it out forward and let's meet in a forearm plank for hip dips remember to keep the hips low staying strong on your forearms elbows under the shoulders palms pressing down firmly breathe engage the core and then as you exhale try to almost touch the hip to either side of the mat breathe inhaling exhaling waist rotations and hip dips in a forearm plank not too long last one five and four remember to exhale every time you dip keeping the body in one straight line from the crown of your head to your heels three two and one hold and gently release the back down extending it out stretching your core out in sphinx pose breathe inhaling exhaling extend the palms back release come down on your right cheek get the big toes to meet let the shoulders rest surrendering the core your muldhara the center to the earth let's switch sides and slowly when you're ready bring the feet back up together press through the palms stretch up open up and as you exhale open the knees out wide wide like a child's pose as you sink back with the belly with the core releasing the hips back onto your heels big toes meet if you need to adjust yourself just shift back a little let's extend out first and rock front and back breathing in and out on your forearms and then slowly bring the forearms in elbows pressing the knees out releasing the head down as you bring your thumb and index finger together sealing this energy inhaling exhaling maybe you want to make fist or grab your opposite elbows to make the shelf to rest your forehead Feel the energy from the earth into your shoulders, your palms, your hips. Release your ankles and then soak it all in, bring it all in to the belly button, to your core. And gently exhale it out, back onto the mat, down to the earth. And when you're ready, Let's come to sit forward, comfortable cross-legged seat, inhaling up, feel the breath rise from your core to your heart, to your throat, in between your eyebrows, to the crown of the head, to the sky, and exhale, bring it all back home, pausing, opening the palms out onto your belly, and curling in and inhale spreading it out exhale let's bring it in to heart center i hope you can also share your stories your journeys as we grow and flow together and i look forward to seeing you soon again bye